Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. It is a super hot one here in Arkansas. It's like 92 degrees, so excuse the sweat. You don't get to keep much air conditioner in here with the doors open all, the di all day long. So I had a super important video that I did want to make for y'all while we're back in the shop, and you are not going to want to miss this. Now every year we get in over 2,000 pieces of equipment and a huge majority of those is walk behind mowers. And usually whenever they start coming into the shop, they're at least two to three years old. That's when things start breaking on them normally. Now when we see a mower that is less than three months old or a year old coming in frequently, the same exact model over and over again for the same exact problem, there's an issue with it and I got to tell you about it. Now, I don't like making these videos where I tell you what not to buy, but I feel like I owe it to you since you do sort of buy the things that I tell you are good or bad because I do see a lot of equipment and I, you know, hope that my opinion matters whenever you go to make purchases because I want you to buy things that are going to last you a lifetime. Now, for years, these mowers, I have told people to buy them because they were a great product. They didn't break down that often. The way that the frames were made, were sturdy, they held up, the cables were good, but unfortunately this year's last model, it's not the same. But before we jump into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I will reply to all the early commenters. So guys, let me take you over and show you what I'm talking about. This is the newest homeowner model of the Honda with a GCV 170 engine. The model number is a Honda HRN 216. It is a self-propel bagging unit. And uh, guys, it's got issues. So the customer's mower looks new because it is. He purchased this within the last three months and he already has huge, huge self-propel issues. Now all of 10 of the mowers that have come in for this issue have been exactly the same and we've fixed it exactly the same. The problem with it being is to actually fix it, it takes over an hour of labor because you have to disassemble the entire machine to fix it. So let me show you up under here on the self-propel system and this deck. Now this deck is full of hard, grass that was wet at some point. And the fact of the matter is, is people mow grass when it's moist and that is not good. It, it makes your belts break when you're on riding mowers and it does the same thing if it gets locked up inside of your self-propel system on your uh, walk behind mowers. But people are going to do it. And most of the time when you buy a push mower or self-propel mower, it's got some sort of uh, shield here that protects most of the self-propel system. That way, if grass gets built up in here, you don't have any issues. But every single one that's come in, look at how exposed that is right there. Everything is getting lodged right up here inside of this belt guard area, and it just messes up the whole system. This one had to have a new belt because it burned the belt up. We've had ones with sticks lodged right here, for some reason, everything is getting stuck in these mowers. And it really needs some kind of shroud on the whole bottom here to protect that. And it just doesn't have the room for it and is not made for that. So you could have a brand new mower that you just purchased, use it a couple times, clog it up with grass, just from you know mowing moist grass. And for the repair, we have to take all of this apart and it's gonna be at least an hour, which is $80 to fix your mower when all it is is a bunch of grass clogged up. Just for reference, this is my Toro mower. And as you can see, look at that belt guard around the pulley that holds the self-propel belt. I mean, this is a much more enclosed system that you just barely ever have issues with. Now on the older Honda mowers, even though they didn't have a protective cover for the self-propel system, what they did have is a very open area for the grass to just fall right back out. It didn't have a bunch of crevices for it to all get compacted in. And for example, the Troy belts made by MTD, they even have a huge dust cover on the bottom of it completely protecting the self-propel system from any kind of debris. I mean, these manufacturers know this is an issue 
and a Honda should have addressed it. Not to mention, these are over $600 after tax at one, some of the big box stores. And guys, I just don't wanna see you have these issues. Now let's go to the flip side and show you what else is wrong with these mowers. Now, I have always told people to buy, you know, mowers with Honda engines on them, even though the air filter cover pops off like crazy. I mean, I can get past that because the engine has always been so good. Now, these mowers, I can't tell you one way or another because they're breaking and I'm seeing them before the customer even has time to screw the engine up. But the other problem is the self-propel cable that comes down in here. It goes into this plastic housing. And on this particular one, we actually had to rig it. Why? Because this plastic part right here where this cable snaps into completely blew out for no reason. Just the pressure of, you know, maybe it was the grass that, that you know, got clogged up in there. But so this in plastic piece right here is the entire, I don't know if we can see it from the back end, so here's the parts diagram showing you the breakdown of the rear housing that the self-propel cable goes through that I've pointed out here. And that bad boy is over $45. So on top of the massive amount of labor it would take to take all that apart and put it back together, the part is super expensive. It's an entire huge section. It would take multiple two to three hours to disassemble all of this to remove this plastic uh, piece that it encompasses this whole back end of the mower and I, I just I don't I don't even know what to tell a customer instead of doing that and replacing this piece or if you can even get it because a lot of times on new mowers you can't get parts when they're brand new they're not supposed to break yet so we actually had to put a washer on the inside of this for the clips to go back in and hopefully um, that's going to work for the customer we're going to see but I don't know guys this is not a good sign so on top of the issue of these getting completely compacted with debris and grass and causing self-propel issues, it also has a belt issue. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I do not recommend ever putting wrong parts on and a lot of times not even aftermarket parts. I'm fully behind putting OEM parts and replacing everything as it should. But we have found that the actual belt that is calls for does not work as well as another belt that we have found and started using instead. So I'm not going to you know, tell you which one it is and recommend it. This video is really just to warn you to stay away from this mower because I just don't want you to have these issues at all. So guys, like I said before, I hate telling you this about these mowers because I have for years said buy a Honda if you're getting a walk behind self propel mower. They have always been very good products and this engine might be good. I still don't know on that, but when it comes to this self propel system, I am very scared for anybody to buy it because one time of mowing some moist grass and it could end up in the shop needing an hour's worth of labor just to clean it out, which is completely ridiculous. Something needs to be done about that. So hopefully this video will save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic. You can find us on Instagram at The Real Chicanic, or you can find us at chicanic.com where you can get your own t-shirts, hoodies, or long sleeve shirts. Thanks and have a great day.